Hey everyone, I'm Jackie I for Entertainment Scoop, and today we have the privilege to talk to Marie Monte. Um, she is a beautiful actress, and she's going to tell us what she's working on right now. Hi. Hello. How are you? By the time we end this interview, I want you to teach me a little bit of French. Oh yeah, sure. Please. <laughs> Please. I feel like watching you on um, screen, I think anybody that just speaks French, it just sounds so wonderful. Well, you know, it's it's a beautiful language, but you know, English is an amazing language. So I yeah. think you know, it's it's kind of funny when when you learn some words of a foreign language you don't know. It's always very exciting. Yes, I was watching a, a piece of your reel, and you were basically telling, I think, your father in this in the scene, you were telling him to f off. <laughs> but you said it like so boldly, but it sounded beautiful. I was like, I wouldn't even be mad at her if she told me F off in French because it doesn't even seem offensive. Well, because, you know, you have all those kind of French, no, English words that you use in French. And yeah, I did, I did use that word. Um, in a, like, actually, it was not written in the lights. It was just like, you kind know, of came out. <laughs> yeah, it came out. And, and I think that they liked it, so they kept it, you know, in the movie. <laughs> yes. What was it like transitioning out of French films to American films? Well, you know, um, it was, it was uh, actually one of my first editions here. I just started, you know, to come here and to spend time here, and I mm -hmm. love it. Um, you know, it's obviously it's kind of different, but still, you know, it's acting, and you're on yeah. a set, and you're you have director, you have you know actors and production team, which is and 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 a big crew, and actually, you know, even if the language is different, basically you're acting, so you're doing kind of the same job. I see, I see. Did you always speak English or? Uh, I was lucky to live in New York when I was pretty uh, younger, like okay. when I was uh, kind of young, and so that's probably uh, where I learned my English. And I feel part part of my heart is you know here in the U.S. So I I, I was so happy to, actually we shot this movie uh, Welcome to New York in New York, and so it was really nice for me to get there and to spend some time in the city. Yeah, to, back to, to go city. back. Yeah. That's awesome. Tell us a little bit about your character on, in this film, particularly. Uh, well, the 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 I'm playing the daughter of, of Devereaux, who's going through this, you know, big, terrible moment in his life, and, sh um, you know, I'm studying in New York, and, um, you know, like, my father comes and visits me, and, you know, this scandal happens. Yeah, what about in real life? Because I feel like a lot of actors do have to pull from, you know, their own experiences to get sure. into uh, that character. Sure. So was there anything just personal in your life that you really had to dig deep into to kind of really portray this personal character? You know, I think that at one point, uh, of course, you know, when you when you get into a character, part of your life influences how you will, you know, who you are. Mm -hmm. And as an actor, it's who you are that, you know, goes on the set. But then you have to take a huge distance because you cannot, you know, be yourself in a character. That's not the point. You are, you're becoming a character. Mm -hmm. So obviously part of your feelings, part of who you are, personality, your own experiences, are going to affect who you are. Um, I see. What, what you know, what your energy is, and and your reactions. But but then you have to take a distance and just to become the avatar of someone else. What have you been doing now? Uh, well, you know, I was starring a cop show in France, so I had to rush back in France. <laughs> to, to, like right after you're like, all right, back on the plane. Yeah, sure. You know that that's that's kind of the the. It's beautiful. It, it's a, it's very intense, but it's it's magical. You know, to be able to travel and to work. And, yeah, no, absolutely. And you have to be very focused. That's mm -hmm. for sure. And you know, now I'm back here for you know uh, for you know meetings and and you know promoting the movie because I think it's a, it was just a unique experience you know yeah. working with Gerard Depardieu, Jacqueline Bisset and the big Abel Ferrara was just an amazing unique experience and and I, I loved it so much you know yeah that, so how much longer are you going to be out here in Los Angeles uh, probably a couple of weeks mm -hmm. I know people love you out there in France but have you ever really considered being out here full time and really diving into the Hollywood acting scene, I would love to. You know, I, I'm I'm here to to do that. This movie, um, where can they watch it and when can they watch it? It's releasing March 27th, in, both in theaters and VOD, and it's called Welcome to New York, directed by Abel Ferrara and starring the amazing, huge, Jara Depardieu as my father and the beautiful, unique, uh, Jacqueline Bisset as my stepmom. Have you already seen it? Yeah, of course. Did of course. you love it? It's it's very moving. It's very intense, and yeah. you know, and it's very very touching. I think mm -hmm. what Abel wanted to do in this movie is just you know, it's inspired by some true facts, but you 
no one can know what really happened. And that was not the point of Abel trying to do and to say it happened that way. Mm -hmm. it, that was not the point. The point was to try and to get into a family going through a terrible event. Be because of addictions, someone's life is destroyed. Yeah. And how can it affect the family, this, the, the people around? And, and I think yeah. that's the, the, the human relationships that were very important for Abel. Mm -hmm. and, and obviously you get into a strong subject, so obviously the reactions of like, and the story is really strong, and, and, and he yeah. goes deep into that. No, and I think it's really good because a story like that is very relatable to our times right now, addiction sure. and all that and stuff. And it can happen to anyone. Absolutely, so I think this film will really relate to a lot of people and they'll probably really enjoy it. Hi, I'm Marie Mute. You're currently watching Entertainment Scoop, and you can follow me on Marie Mute one on Instagram. Have a beautiful day.